He's doing four damage, I'm doing 419. Who's gonna win that fight? Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I almost said evolved. <laughs> I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to set out for our new base location. And uh, so I'm pretty much ready to go for that. Where's the hitbox? There it is. Um. So, yeah. Um, I've built this uh, raft out here, as you can see. I made a big long barge out of stone uh, to make it a little stronger. We're taking the two uh, Ankleos, we're taking the two Flyers, and we're taking Trika here. Um, I'll probably show you at the beginning of the video the taming of this trike, but this trike uh, wandered in the yard. It was, a, I think it was a 135, a really high level female trike, so I said, hey, I'm going to grab that. Um, and she's going to be our uh, basically our guard. She's our combat dino, uh, even though the Ankies are also capable of that too. Also, um, I I tamed uh, another uh, Ankleo here, Horny, uh, because he was level 80 and he just he wouldn't leave the yard. He just kept wandering around as if he wanted to be tamed. So we went ahead and tamed him up as well. Spike uh, was originally 44. So we're going to leave Spike here along with um, our babies here. Oh, you know what? We should probably get you out of the rocks. And you're also out of range of the trough, too. That's right, because this is a vanilla trough, so it doesn't quite have the same range that the S plus one does. Uh, but all of these babies were just tames of opportunity. Um, and so I'm not going to take them with us. Yeah, you're, you're in range of the trough. I'm going to take, I'm not going to take them with us. I'm going to leave them here for now. Uh, they've got a full trough uh, full of berries. And, um, you know, that way if something really, really, really bad happens, we can come back here and kind of, you know, regroup if, if we have to. So you, as you can see, this thing is chopped full. So they'll be fine. Uh, plus the fact that if I'm not near them, um, they go into a stasis mode anyways. I, I think they'll keep growing, but they won't. That looked painful. <laughs> the way he was twisted his ankle there. Um, let's let's move the Bront, Bronto away from them a little bit, because when it grows up, it's going to be, well, as big as that one. And um, just so it's not glitched in to everybody. And then, you know, I'll, I'll figure out what to do with these critters later, uh, if anything. So, okay. And I think we're ready to go. So the plan is that we're going to... Let's bring up the... Whoop, no, nope, wrong button. Uh, let's bring up the map here. And we're going to... I did, did some pre-scouting. And we can't really get up... Uh, we can't get through here, and we can't really get through here either uh, with the raft. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just, you know, zip across here and then kind of follow the shoreline, and then we're going to go up this river here. Um, there's going to be boulders in the way, but we can remove those with the Ankies, and we can get all the way up into here. Uh, maybe We might not go into the swamp. We might park, say, like here, and then we'll just go overland uh, to get uh, to the Redwoods. And then my plan is to, to have our base. I, I looked at the, you know, this little lake area. It's an actual... It's a very gorgeous place, but there's not a lot of space there, and we're going to need quite a bit of space for breeding later on. So um, I, I've decided that we're going to go and base somewhere in this vicinity here. This is a this is a promontory that sticks out into the river. It's a very popular base location. I've seen a lot of other people build a base there, um, and it's very almost smack dab in the center of the map too. So we might do that, but I kind of want to live in the redwoods. So we might instead, you know, maybe find a, a relatively flat area on the redwood side and maybe even do a tree base too. I don't know. That could be kind of fun too. So that is the plan. And um, I think we're ready to, to get started. So you guys uh, hold the fort down and I'll be back sometime in the future, maybe, uh, to come and get you. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's take a drink of water there. And so I got I got the two anks out in front here, so that way you know when we start going down a river and, and boulders get in the way, they can just <coughs> gazoon type. Uh, they can just take them out. 
Okay, I think we're ready to go. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I always do forget something, but um, let's start this. But we got to be careful, um, you know, that our critters don't get on top of the fire or they'll start taking damage. We've got um, a preserving bin here. We've got a smithy, which is pretty much what I'm just storing everything in. I've got a mortar and pestle and, of course, this refine refinery. Okay, let's do this. Um, so we're just going to zip across uh, here really, you know, as quickly as we can. Let's get the camera mode out a little more. And I, I think, you know, I mean, I don't know this for sure, but I think because this is, raft, this is the modded raft, I think because it's so much faster, we can probably outrun the lead Sithkus if one tried to attack us. But here we go. <laughs> Let's just hope so. Let's just hope so. Is that... What the hell is that? That's an egg. We might want to grab that. Man, uh, this is not smart in case there is a lead Sithkus around. Okay, here. That's uh, what is that? It's a... A Pteranodon egg. Okay, cool. You must have just laid it while it was flying in the air. Okay, let's get out of the... Oh, okay, that's just a shark. Let's get out of the deep water. <laughs> that makes me a little nervous. I remember the very first time I encountered a lead Sithkiss, I was playing on the Valhalla map, which is still my all-time, well, almost in the very top three of my all-time favorite maps at Ark. Unfortunately, the, the guys that made Valhalla, which later went on to make Ragnarok and then Fjorder, some of the best Ark map mapers ever, uh, they they didn't keep up with Valhalla, so it got further and further behind and got more and more broken, and I don't even know if it's even available to play on Ark Survival Evolved anymore, but I really love that map. There's just something about it that um, just kind of tickled my fancy, if you will. But anyway, all that to say, um, they had added Lead Sithicus into the game, and I I didn't know it because I'd taken like a you know a little break from Ark. And so when I started playing, I did you know did build the raft thing like I typically would do, and um, and I was out in the water, and all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> got attacked and and capsized and I'm going what in the hell I wasn't even I didn't even wasn't even aware that the creature existed you know at the time it was really funny and then uh, I found out <laughs> so yeah they're not uh, they're one of those pesk you know pesky creatures because you can't tame them um, and I don't I don't think most people are very fond of them some people even just turn them off. But you know we're not uh, we're we're playing the game as the the dev is intended for the most part here, so we got to deal with them. But here again, I mean, we might, like I said, if one actually was chasing us, we might be able to outrun it just because this raft is quite a bit faster than the normal one. But I don't want to test that theory, not with all of our worldly possessions and critters, or most of them, anyways, um, on the raft. Okay, so we'll come around the bend here, and then this is the river that we're going to go up. And we're going to have to be, you know, on the watch out for, for uh, you know, mini dinos too. And I think, I think I've think i seen otters uh, on this river before too. So if we come across an otter, we might actually try and tame it because it would be very handy to have an otter... Um, they're, they're really good, if you didn't already know this, they're really good for temperature regulation, but the other thing that's unique about them is that you can put, uh, you can actually store artifacts inside of them. I think they're the only animal in the game that you can do that with. Um, so that makes them incredibly useful. Okay, so we're going to stop right here. We're going to jump on Horny and get rid of that boulder. Beautiful. And we'll just keep doing that, you know, as we as we go up the river here for any big boulders that get in our way. I, I like this little section of the map. Um, I, I've i actually built bases uh, in this area in the past. And um, it's, it's a neat spot. Are we... He's grabbing the ones down lower, too. I don't think we necessarily need to, but we'll we'll hit him anyways. Uh, we might need to pull a little bit more, yeah, a little fo more forward to get to that boulder.
There we go. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You know what we could do is let's just grab the materials that these that the eggs harvest up and process them as we go along. Because why not, right? Why the hell not? Put all of those in there and start making some spark powder. We'll stick the metal in here. Beautiful. Um, let's also, while I'm stopped here, let's put that stuff in there and we'll put this little bit of meat and the egg in there. Okay, let's also do a save just in case we get a crash. They are thankfully much fewer and further between now. Oh, there's a spino down there. Okay, we're going to have to deal with him. Um, but, you know, they can still happen, so... Let's go right about here. Very handy. What level is that Spino? Oh, it's only level 10. Yeah. Not a problem. We'll have our trike take care of that when we get a little bit closer here. Let's have Hornita grab this boulder. And then I'm going to stay parked here. Uh, I just heard an ichthy. Where the hell is it? Uh, right there. I hate those things. Let's get rid of them. Okay, we're going to go deal with the Spino with our trike here. Everybody just chillax. Stay put, um, and also stay passive too, please. He's doing four damage, I'm doing 419. Who's gonna win that fight? Okay. You know what, while we're, while we're here, let's just scout ahead a little bit more for any other potential nasties. couple of dillos, but I'm not too re really too worried about them. Uh, there's a calico. They don't usually bother you unless you get right up in their business. Uh, some raptors. We'll have to deal with them. Uh, in fact, the raptor and the calico are going at it. I don't. Hmm, I don't want to get too far away from my raft, though. But let's. Man, this must be a really high-level raptor. Oh, is it an alpha? It is an alpha. I didn't. I could hardly see the. I could hardly see the red uh, smoke on it. I was gonna say, my goodness, that was hard to kill for a normal raptor. Oh, that's right. The stuff comes into my own inventory. Okay, fine. Yeah, I don't care about. Um, well, actually, let's just leave the corpse there because. If we come across a tame of opportunity, there's another spino way over there. That's basically where we're headed is where that spiny is. Uh, we can harvest that thing for prime, assuming bugs don't get to it or something else before then, but that's okay. Uh, all right. I think this is about as far as I'm going to get away from my raft. So let's head back and we'll bring the raft up to this point and then we'll assess. Okay. Back to the raft, safe and sound. Let's give you some weight and grab all your your goodies and same for you likewise that's a 
Actually, yeah, that that's a definitely an upgrade from what we currently have. I was thinking we were on our other playthrough where I had that really nice pick. So yeah, we'll take that for sure. And what are we wearing for shoes? I think we're wearing some really nice, um, yeah, we're wearing some Ascendant Gilly that we got out of a drop. In fact, we <laughs> we got some really nice armor going on here. Uh, all from drops, of course. They're just super OP. I have the drop set to 1.5. I, I could even probably just set it back to 1, the default, um, and still get really good stuff. Because that's what a lot of people are saying is the drops are just giving good stuff. You know, a lot better than they did in Evolved. Anyway, let's see. We got we got two points. My goodness. Okay, what are we working on? We're working on... We got Fortitude up to 40. I think I'm working on melee damage for now. Yeah. So let's get our melee damage up. Oh, look at that. We just froze. I'm glad we saved recently. Son of a bitch. Uh, you know what that means, too. It means we're going to lose the pick we just got off that raptor. It's probably not even going to be there. Oh, I got to remember to save after something significant happens. I just haven't trained myself to do that, and then I pay the price. It's not the first time I've lost potentially good stuff because of these, these freezes. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to restart the game. I'll meet you back more or less at the same spot, and we'll proceed. It is what it is. What the hell, man? Why can't I uh, harvest this salmon? That's bullshit. Oh, wait, right there. Nice, I got eight prime fish off that. If you guys didn't know this, use a sickle on salmon and you can harvest prime. Okay. I was trying to find the bag. Uh, what happened? Dude. Our Tyranodon's attacking stuff. I need to put it on passive. Um, I was trying to find the bag for that Spino so I can get the sail, but I didn't see it down there, so... Uh, oh, you got it. Nice. Okay. That works, too. Okay. You get back down here. Oh, for Pete's sake. I forgot to... I forgot to put everybody on passive. Okay, let's do that right now so I don't forget. That stuff can all go in there. All right, now, let's save <laughs> before we do anything else. And off we go. It'd be nice if that alpha's still over there. It, it certainly could be. But uh, it may not be. There's no guarantee when you restart the game where stuff's going to be. You got a point. Uh, we're going to put uh, that into weight. All right. I'm going to do a quick flyby over here. See if that alpha's still around. Is that a Baryonyx or a Carnotaur? It's a level 15 Carno. Um, looks like the Alpha might still be over there. I think that's it right there. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so we can get that kill again. I mean, there's no guarantee we're going to get the same loot. There's level 20 Therry. He's going to be bad news. Uh, the Carnotaur is only 15, so I'm not worried about that. Is that theory already damaged? No, it's just the colors. Okay, um, let's bring the raft about to where we're currently at. Now, we do have to be careful when we're attacking Therizinos because they can attack the rider directly. So... Let's get rid of that guy because he could be trouble if we get 
too close to him. You just never know what's going to happen in this game. Just also keeping my eyes peeled for any otters. Once we clear all the nastiness out of the way, I might jump in the river too and see if there's anything. Uh, oh, something killed that Carno. I don't think it was me. Okay, are you the same Therizino? You're Yeah, you're level 20. Okay, so what we're going to do is soften him up. him out of the way. Is that just a normal raptor? Yeah, well, it's a level 80, but still not too worried about him. I mean, we need to kill him, but... Okay, we got the Theory Claws. Raptor's coming over to this side. I think that might be the alpha in the water a little further down. Right, he's dead. Get those bugs out of the way. Try Kaz a level. Let's give you melee damage. I'm going to do another save because I just don't trust this game. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see the red smoke on that guy when, when he's in the water. Well, we didn't get the nice pick. We got a, a sickle, but we already have a better sickle. Oh, well, it's what it is. It is what it is. Let's give ourselves some melee damage. And again, I'm going to leave that corpse there. It probably won't survive because of the bugs, but maybe it will. Got another theory up here and some more raptors. Let's deal with them now. Uh, everybody okay on the raft? I think so. As far as I can tell, anyway. I didn't look to see what level this fairy is. It's level 55. Okay. Did you get the claws? Yes, you did. And you, wow, you got four points. Okay. Uh, we're just throwing all of that into melee. This trike is going to be a killing machine, man. A lean, mean, horning machine. Okay, so there's a couple raptors over on the other side of the river there. Ooh, there's an egg. Let's grab that. What is that? That is a iguanodon egg. Okay, nice. Now is the uh, what the hell? We just killed the Terry. There's another one. Damn it, Jim. You're just level 15. Where are you guys coming from? There's an abandoned trike over there, but I don't really want to have to try and get a baby uh, to our destination. It'd be very difficult to do and keep it alive. So it's just going to have to be on its own. For anybody who may not know, if you if you go up that way that I'm facing, um, that leads you to the cave where the artifact of the hunter is, which we will, of course, be doing at some point later on. I 
I just hit something? Like a critter? Also grab a little bit of wooden thatch. Okay, I think we're clear to proceed here. Oh, we <laughs> we got a passenger. A little Fiomia. Okay, before we take off, let's just duck our head down in the water and see if we can spot an otter. Oh, is that one right there? Uh, no. No, it's just the salmon. Okay. Lots of salmon in this river. It's good to know. Are you coming after me? I didn't do anything to you. Um, there should be otters along the river. What are you? You're, uh... Oh, a dilo. A dilo. A dilo. <laughs> um, there should be otters along the river where we're going to base up, too, I... I, I would think. If not, we can always come back here like later on with an RG and look for some. Starving, are we? Let's take a quick peek down in this on this side of the raft. Okay. You're a dimorph. Not too worried about them as long as we don't aggro them. It's the ichthys that we kill on sight. Thornus. Okay, I think we're ready to proceed. Let's save again. Oh, okay. Should be able to just scooch right on through here. And we're going to go ahead and park right here on this sandbar. Got a couple raptors over there, though. Oh, those are dilos, not raptors. Got all of them. Those trees out of the way so we can see what we're doing. All right, we have made it to our destination. Um, and so from here, we're going to go overland on foot towards the Redwoods. But I think we are out of time in this episode, so we're going to wrap up this episode here, and then I'll pick up right pretty much where we left off. I might do a, a quick scout ahead on the bird. Um... Uh, but then we'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.